In our daily life, we count various things for various purposes. We count things using counting numbers. The numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on are called counting numbers or natural numbers. The numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on are called whole numbers. 0 has no value if placed before a natural number, but it has a significant value when placed after a natural number. Although 0 is the first whole number, the first counting number is 1. But numbers like 1 upon 2, 1 1.8 and 2.2 .2 are not whole numbers. Whole numbers on a number line. On a number line, numbers are represented as points and distances. To represent whole numbers on a number line, draw a straight horizontal ray. Label one end of the line as zero. Mark another point to the right of zero and label it as one. The distance between 0 and 1 is the unit distance. Now mark points 2, 3, 4 and so on to the right side of point 1 at unit distance. This is how the number line will look like when we represent the whole numbers starting from the point 0. Negative numbers let us first understand what negative numbers are. We know that zero means nothing. But there are instances in real life when we use numbers that are less than zero. For example, in a few cold regions in the world, the temperature goes below zero degrees Celsius. That is, negative four degrees Celsius or even below negative 40 degrees Celsius. The numbers negative 4 and negative 40 are less than 0 and are called negative numbers. A negative number is any number that is less than 0. For example, negative 8 is a number that is 8 less than 0. A negative number is represented with a negative sign. Any number without a negative sign is called a positive number. Which means a number that is greater than zero. So, while negative eight is negative eight, seven is positive seven or simply seven. Integers. The numbers 1, 2, 3 and so on, their opposites, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 and so on and the number 0 together form a different set of numbers. Let us understand the set of integers with the help of the following diagram. In this combination, each shape represents a particular number or set of numbers. The circle represents zero. This shape represents natural numbers. The rectangle represents whole numbers. The triangle represents negative numbers. And this shape represents integers. Representation of integers on a number line. Integers can be represented on a number line that extends to the left and to the right. It is indicated by arrows. The positive integers are represented to the right of zero and the negative integers are represented to the left of zero. 
positive 1, positive 2, positive 3 and so on are called positive integers. The number value increases as they move away from 0. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 and so on are called negative integers. The number value decreases as they move away from 0. The integer 0 is neutral. It is neither positive nor negative. Positive integers do not need the positive sign before the number. For example, positive 2 can be written as just 2. Negative integers need the negative sign before the number. If the sign is not included, the number is considered as positive. Two integers are opposites if they are each the same distance away from zero but on opposite sides of the number line. One will have a positive sign, the other a negative sign. In the number line shown here, positive 3 and negative 3 are opposite numbers. Now, let us look at different situations where we mark a number either as positive or negative. Money earned or deposited is marked as positive, whereas money owed or spent or withdrawn is marked as negative. Height above sea level is marked as positive, whereas depth below sea level is marked as negative. Climbing up is marked as positive, whereas coming down is marked as negative. 